Today we're making creamy chicken enchiladas with my favorite homemade green salsa. Let's get started. First, we're gonna boil six to eight chicken thighs with a handful of cilantro, a fourth of an onion, and salt. Boil for 25 to 30 minutes over medium-high heat. In a separate saucepan, boil eight to 10 tomatillos with four serrano peppers or jalapenos, depending on your level of spice. Boil for five to seven minutes or until they start to turn a pale green color. Remove them from the burner. While they cool down, we're gonna roast four to five Anaheim peppers over medium heat. Turn them over often until they're nice and blistered on all sides. Remove the chicken from the pot so it can cool down while we roast our peppers. Make sure to save the broth because we will be using it later. Once your peppers are nice and blistered on all sides, remove them and place them in a plastic bag. This is gonna allow the peppers to sweat and it's gonna make it a lot easier to peel once they cool down. While we wait for the peppers to cool down, we're gonna shred the chicken and we're also gonna mince a fourth of an onion and one garlic clove. Heat up a small amount of vegetable oil over medium heat, add the onion and the garlic and saute for about a minute or until the onion and the garlic are nice and fragrant. Add in the chicken and mix it in with the onion and the garlic. At this point, you can use the chicken just like this, but I'm also gonna add one 10 ounce can of cream of chicken and one cup of the chicken broth. Mix it in with the chicken and simmer over medium heat for about eight to 10 minutes or until most of the liquid has simmered down. Once your peppers are cool enough to handle, remove them from the bag, peel off the skin, remove the stems and the seeds and transfer them to the blender. Along with the serrano peppers, the tomatillos, two cups of the chicken broth from the pot, one garlic clove and a handful of cilantro. Blend on high for a good minute or until you have a nice creamy sauce. Heat up a small amount of vegetable oil over medium heat, then add in the sauce. Season with one to two tablespoons of chicken bouillon or salt to your liking. Mix it in and simmer for about five to seven minutes over medium heat. If the enchilada sauce is too thick, you can add more of the chicken broth until it reaches your desired thickness. Before preparing your enchiladas, lightly fry your tortillas for a few seconds on each side or until they're nice and pliable. This is gonna help the enchilada sauce stick better to the tortilla and it's also gonna keep them from falling apart once you add the sauce. Prepare your enchilada by adding a good spoonful of the chicken and your favorite melting cheese. I'm using a little bit of mozzarella cheese. Roll up the enchilada and before placing it in the baking dish, add a good spoonful of the enchilada sauce to the bottom of the baking dish. Place your enchilada in the baking dish with the flap down to keep it from falling apart. Once you fill your baking dish, top off with the enchilada sauce and your favorite cheese. I'm using Mexican blend cheese, which is a combination of cheddar, Monterey Jack, and quesadilla cheese. Bake at 350 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes or until the cheese is nice and melted. Top them off with your favorite toppings. I'm going to add a little bit more of the enchilada sauce, lettuce, red onion, cilantro, tomato, Mexican sour cream, and a little bit of queso cotija. And enjoy!